Hello everyone. Today we are talking about the internet and some internet problems. The internet, no doubt, a wonderful meeting place. But in the same time, it poses certain risks to all its users and no matter how old they are. And lots of us realize potential threats that we face online. Unfortunately, some people who can read your personal profiles can use your details for wrong purposes. And there are some internet safety tips for you. And the first one is don't tell anyone your real name and address or even neighborhood you live in. The second one is so don't take some frivolous photos. You know that I mean. So just try to be good online. Always remember that the internet has a great memory and somebody can save your photos and the deletion won't help you. And remember, your personal information can go against you. Make sure your password is strong and don't share it with others. How to create a strong password? Do you know? To create a strong password, use a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers and symbols. And make it between 8 and 9 characters long. Avoid using identifiable information such as name, phone number, address, and your personal information. That's so easy to guess, like your pet's name or your favorite football team or maybe your date of birth. Choose a different password for each of your accounts like email, social, network, and banking accounts. Reusing passwords is risky. If someone figures out a password for one of your accounts, it's possible they could get access to your personal information. Now let's do the first exercise. Choose 10 top inventions from the box below. Explain your choice. Now let's do exercise number two. Look at the photos and say whether these inventions have had a good or bad effect on people's lifestyle. Think of arguments that give different points of view about each invention. You can also do this in written form. Exercise number three. Discuss why the following inventions would be totally useless. Write down your opinion. Now let's see two short videos and then write your opinion. <sighs> Love and kisses from... Oh, <laughs> it's on! I'm sorry guys, I know I've told you I'd share everything with you, but this letter is really, really private. <laughs> Okay, da -da. now it's safe in my top secret, secretive box. The internet is a great place to do research for school. Share pictures with friends, play video games, or check out the latest trending videos. But it's important to remember that there are billions of people who access the internet, and not everyone has good intentions when doing so. <gasps> You should think carefully before you share personal information, pictures, or videos on the internet. Even if you think it is private. Nothing on the internet is completely private. It's a good rule of thumb not to put up anything that could embarrass you later. If you wouldn't want your grandmother to see it, then don't post it. And don't share private information with people you don't know. Trust your instincts. If someone approaches you online and makes you feel uncomfortable or in danger, stop communication with them immediately and tell a parent or another trusted adult. <gasps> it's best not to meet in person someone you've only met online, even if you've been communicating with them for a long time. They may not be who they have told you they are and it could be dangerous. 
If you do decide to meet someone from online, it's best to meet them in a public place and to not go alone. Always take a friend along just to be safe. And let someone else know exactly where you are going and who you are going to meet. Bullying someone online through email, social media, text messaging, or any other website or app is called cyberbullying and is still a form of bullying. It's often better to block, delete, or try to ignore bullying messages than to respond to them. If that doesn't work, getting help from a parent, school counselor, or another trusted adult might be a good idea. That's especially true if the cyberbullying contains threats. Remember to always keep your personal information private. Check your privacy settings to make sure that only your friends can see what you post. And never, ever share your passwords with anyone else. The internet could be a wonderful place to explore. Just remember to stay safe while doing it. Oh, what was it? Um, my dog's birthday. Shoot, okay, that didn't work. Um, oh, I know, last four digits of my cell number. Okay, that wasn't it. That might take a while. Till next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye. Hey, have you started that project? What? Oh, yeah, well, um... What's the matter? Who are you talking to? It's, uh, just someone who started texting me online a while back. I don't know. They're really nice. And they're, uh, thinking we could go see a movie and... Francis, you're not planning on meeting a stranger you met on the internet, are you? <coughs> Did somebody say the internet? Come with me! <laughs> what? Whoa! Where are we? <laughs> don't worry, friends. I'm an internet helper. I've made it my life goal to help kids learn that there are dangers on the internet. Wait, what now? Don't worry, I'm your friend. Here's a little informative video for you youngsters. The internet. It may seem like a fantastic place, but beware. There are internet predators at every twist and turn. The one solution? Don't go on the internet. Read a bike. Ride a book. Hold up, hold up. Stop the video. Yes? Do you have a question, little girl? What are you saying? Yeah, you may be right that there are predators lurking on the internet. There's a lot of dangerous people out there who want to spread hatred or find someone who's vulnerable. But you can't just tell kids to not go on the internet. First of all, it's a really important place for us to do our schoolwork. The internet is also a great place to explore your identity, share your art and writing, and have really meaningful conversations with others. The important thing is knowing how to navigate it safely and have people you can rely on if you feel like you're in trouble. I guess that's what I wish I knew a year ago. A boy, who I thought was really nice, asked me to send him a picture of me in my underwear. I just really liked him and wanted him to think I was cool, so I did it. A week later, he posted it online. People began messaging me, insulting the way I looked. I was devastated. I knew that I had to do something. I didn't really feel comfortable telling my parents, so I told my English teacher instead. She provided me with a list of organizations that help young people who are being cyberbullied and helped me report the incident to the police. I blocked the people harassing me, and two days later, the original post was taken down. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if something feels uncomfortable or unsafe, listen to your instincts. Most importantly, if someone you know asks you to share a private photo of yourself, don't do it. No matter what, it's not private, and once you put it out there, you lose control of what happens to it, and can never take it back. I just don't want what happened to me to ever happen to anyone, especially not one of my friends. N Nina's right. I did feel uncomfortable texting a stranger. I'm gonna tell someone. Thanks, dude. No problem, dude. So yeah, stop showing that dumb video, internet helper. You. You dare tell me how to do my job? Go against what I said? You like 
like the internet that much? How's about I upload that old photo of yours online if you love it so much? <laughs> Nina, what are we gonna do? We can't let that thing upload that picture. We gotta work together, quick. You go that way, distract it. Hey, hey! Your home task. Do all these exercises. First, read what people say about how they use the internet. Then answer the questions. And then prepare a five-minute talk about the dangers of surfing on the internet. Stop the video or take a screenshot. Now, I hope you will be more careful in the internet. Thank you for watching. Bye.